Hello everyone, welcome back to our ICT class and this is video number 30. Hope you all are fine and safe. So, did you study the, the topics which we have discussed in the last class? Already our chapter 6 completed and uh, in that chapter we have basically, uh, we have discussed about a software named LibreOffice Calc and uh, last class we have studied about the lookup function, filtering tools, that means auto filter, then uh, pasting, then exporting that uh, file as PDF and also about the protective sheets. So altogether when we summarize, we have studied about, uh, in that chapter about the LibreOffice Calc, how to open LibreOffice Calc. We have studied about the different functions like average function, if function, then uh, a round function, then lookup function and, uh, and after that we have studied about the filtering that means auto filter method for getting only for getting the particular details we can use the auto filter method and uh, paste special means if we want to paste the particular portion to another sheet we can use the space special method and export as pdf means we can convert we can export our file in the pdf format and another one is of protective sheets if we don't if any other if uh, persons if they are uh, um, interfering in uh, and if they are editing in our report we can avoid that we can do we uh, uh, we can use the protective sheet uh, uh, method so that they can't edit anything in our report okay so that we uh, so that is about the protective sheets we can protect our files from un unnecessary editing using the facility okay so i hope you understood all all those things so you must study that so today we will be moving to another chapter and the chapter name is making a presentation impressive okay making a presentation impressive so uh, you heard about the presentation so presentation you all will be knowing that presentations and you have done many presentations that means slides PowerPoint you all will be knowing that Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope you all have heard about that So I will be opening the textbook So that I can show you the chapter here you must take the textbook part 2 and the chapter 7 So all will be knowing about the presentations you have, I think you all have prepared the slides and all. So here we will be studying about how to make an impressive presentation, okay, how, by using the different tools, uh, different uh, uh, software, uh, that means different methods are there uh, which help us to make a presentation more impressive, okay. So I hope you all will be uh, knowing somewhat about the creating the presentation and all here uh, Varsha and Vibin they are trying to make a presentation in the computer based on the topic global warming I hope you all have uh, studied about uh, le the lesson sun the ultimate source in your social science textbook so you all will be knowing about our environmental day so uh, the the important topics which is uh, we are discussing is about the global warming nowadays we all are facing uh, ma a major issue that is uh, is global warming so this we been Varsha and we been are preparing a presentation based on the topic global warming so if they are presenting the pre presentation if they want to prepare a presentation in a in the software in the computer they need to prepare something okay the first preparation the first thing they have to do is decide or finalize the content what will be the content to be added in the presentation they must finalize that another one prepare the storyboard storyboard means what all things are needed for the presentation that means storyboard the contents how much pictures must be included how much videos must be included how much uh, how must be how uh, uh, in in, uh, in which format must be its template what will be the background color to be given so that all are the storyboard next they are asking us to fill the other steps the third one is of including the picture including the videos okay that is also very much necessary for the 
presentation so uh, according to the steps we are going to prepare a presentation based on the topic global warming so for preparing the presentations they uh, we need a lot of uh, uh, this uh, tools help okay so we will be making use of that tools and we are going to prepare a presentation the first activity which we are going to uh, do is activity 7.1 select a template so for before selecting the template we must to know which software is used for preparing the presentation here we are using the software name library office impress okay in the windows we will in windows we will be uh, saying that microsoft powerpoint in the same way ubuntu the software which we are using is library office impress and we can open the library office impress like application office library office impress so when we open that they will be giving some different formats different templates they are giving uh, now we are not choosing any of the templates we are just cancelling that so that you will be getting a plain page a plain slide you will be getting so here we are just some features we will be discussing and after that only we will be moving to the template section okay so this is the home page or this is the window of the library office impress okay here you can see different tools and we will be making use of these tools for creating the slides okay so here this is the first slide here i am going to type global warming okay so you can see the slide over here if i want to create two more slides when we right click over here you can see the new slide so that you can uh, one uh, new slide is also appeared here here i am going to type seminar on global warming and one more uh, slide also i am going to create like a new slide right click over the here and click on the new slide here i will be adding some pictures or like that so this is a plain slide if i want to give some particular background color to this slide is that possible yeah obviously we can do that also so for that what we have to do here you can see an option slide from here there is an option called properties okay and from this properties you will be getting three tabs from here background select the background here you can see the color tab from the color tab you can choose any of the color for as the background color so that you can see this color appeared on the first slide only but i need this color on all the slide on this background color on the all slide so for that we will be making use of a property master slide okay we can open the master slide like insert sorry here you can see view master slide so that you can see the master slide over here and here you can see the side options here you can see the settings sidebar settings click on the sidebar settings here you have you can take the properties so this is the master slide and in this master slide i'm going to add the background color how i can add from the slide you can select uh, properties and uh, then the properties i'm going to give the color click on okay so that you can see the master slide only now i am going the close master view click on the close master view so that you can see the color on all the slides okay yeah because this is the color which i have given first that is why it has uh, it came okay so that you can see the color on the three slide okay in this way we can give the color uh, automatically on all the slides the color will be coming okay so in this way we can give the color next i am going to choose the um, uh, this uh, templates okay i am going to choose templates so you can see this is the plain slide we have added the uh, details and all 
so uh, if i am going to if if i need a template if i need a good background uh, uh, for all the slides we can create the templates for that when when i open this soft uh, this uh, library of simdress first itself you got a window of uh, templates okay so uh, here i am going to choose the templates for preparing the presentations so before that you can make some features also you must study that is when you right click over here you can select the duplicate slide so you will be getting the same duplicate slide of the previous slide if i want to delete a slide right click over here click on the delete slide that slide got deleted okay so next i am going to take the templates here you can see the master view click on the master view here you can see close master view so if you want to see the master view when you click you can click here so that you can see the master view and here you can see master slides one option click on the master slides option you will be getting a lot of templates over here so from here i'm going to select a template lights okay so here for the third slide only this tem this uh, uh, what uh, this template came so i am going to i want to make this to all the slides okay so for that right here this this option this option we have selected right click over here apply to all the slides so that you can see for all the slides the template came and it now it is becomes more beautiful to see in this way we can add the template for preparing the presentations okay the next thing which i am going to do is i am going to give animation to this global warming okay i am going to give animation to this global warming so in different ways we can give the animation so for that i am selecting the first in the first slide we have this global warming right so i am selecting this text after that in the format you can see here animation so this the animation window came here click on this plus button here you can see the different types of animations so from this uh, uh, i am choosing dissolving okay i have choose the flash so instead of flash i will be choosing yes dissolving and here they are asking the duration okay duration here the duration i am giving as 2 seconds okay so now you can see for this uh, global warming i have applied the animation uh, so just we can see it in full window so for seeing that in the full window in the slide show menu click from the start from slide so you will be getting it as the full window just to click here so that you can see the uh, this uh, global warming it is coming in uh, animation forms okay then when you click on the escape it will be going back to normal in this way we can add the animation okay so now you understood how to add animation on the text so next in the next slide you can see another uh, topic like seminar on global warming when you open the some websites and all you can see some scrolling text okay we can make the scrolling text also here uh, in this library of is impress so for that we have to select this we have to select this seminar on global warming after that in the same way go to the format menu and in the format menu click on the option object and shape and in the object and shape click on the option text and in the text animation here i am going to give the animation scroll through okay effect to scroll through and it must be scrolling towards the right direction and click on okay you can see that it will be scrolling to the right direction so i hope you understood these all things so next uh, we are uh, in the next slide what i am going to do is i am going to add some picture that is our so our activity 7.1 selecting a template is completed so now i am going to do another activity 7.2 here you can see the 7.1 select a template this uh, activity is completed okay we have discussed about the master slides and selecting a template so next i am going to do another activity name let's include and arrange a picture 
if i want to arrange a picture okay so here i am in here i am going to add a picture okay so for adding the picture from insert menu there is an option known as image so from image this is our school resources in school resources standard 9 there is an uh, uh, there is a sub option in presentation click on the presentations you will be getting a lot of images so click on the images over here and from here i'm going to select any image known as global warming any image related to the global warming click on open so that you can see, you will be getting the image over here so we can drag this image and we can make it big so if i made the image big you can see our scrolling text is on the back side of this image but we need our scrolling text on the front portion of the image okay we need this image i have uh, i have enlarged this image now you can't see our scrolling text so we need our scrolling text on the front portion of the image so how we can do that so for that we need to arrange that we can have to choose the arrange tool from the format menu there is an option known as arrange click on the option arrange and from this arrange you can click on the option send it to back so that you can see the picture gone to the back and you can see our scrolling text come to the front portion so in this way we can make our presentation more impressive so that is the activity let's include and arrange a picture okay and in the third slide i am going to add a video okay you can see a video also uh, in the presentation so for adding a video we have to we have to from the insert menu you have to select audio or video and here in the standard 9 presentation there is an option global warming a video is there in our school resource folder click on the global warming video click on open you can see this video if you want to increase the size of the video you can increase like this now this video is not playing but you can see the final result from slide show start from the first slide click over here our global warming the first animation test appear next we have if for moving to the next slide click on the left right arrow key button on the keyboard so now you can see the second image uh, image which we have uh, added and also you can see the scrolling text over here okay and the next when we click over here you can see our video which we have added it will be started playing okay so next we can move uh, we can go back to our the first portion when we click on escape it will be moving to the normal portion normal software we will be getting okay so now i have made a small presentation i have given a uh, this uh, i have given a topic i have uh, added one image and a scrolling text and also an audio sorry a video now i am going to save my file i can save this for the future use if i want to save i can save from the file menu file you go to save here i am going to type my presentation and just a second and this i am going to save in our student works okay our student works will be here in student works 9 i will be going to save this presentation okay so you can see the saved our saved file name my presentation dot odp so what you have to understood from that the unique file format of this uh library office impress is dot odp okay so we can check it is uh, there or not so where it is in the home folder you can see the student works 9 here you can see my presentation dot odp which we have created now okay so i hope you understood about the first portions of this chapter so what all things we have discussed now just a second so we have discussed about the creating the templates 
we have discussed about the master slide for making the for uh, getting the changes on all of the, all over the slide and we have discussed about the activity of including the picture and the video so i hope you understood these all things those who are having computer practice the activity so see you in the next class thank you bye